you for doing this with me. I really appreciate it. I just have to, you know, show my gratitude to start with. And I can see you got a lot of boxes behind you. So I don't even <laughs> need to say too much. Would you, um, would you like to do the honor introducing yourself and we can just kickstart everything? Because yeah. I, I met you on Instagram and I, and I see that you're a big collector. I don't really know much about you. So yeah. if you like, in, you know, do a little intro, then we can just get into the, the whole conversation. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I guess uh, I go by kicking it with G. My name's Emmanuel. Um, okay. I've been, I guess, collecting uh, heavily for just over a decade. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, um, I'm a high school teacher by profession, um, and I work in uh, the wellbeing space at my school. Um, yeah, that's. I guess that's a that's a good start. Okay. Okay, so me, for instance, I was born and raised in Nigeria, and mm -hmm. I came up here about, let's say, six years ago. So the cultural difference is like, is mind blowing and is, yeah. you know, it's cool too to explore new things, gain yeah. more knowledge. And most of all, you know, when it comes to the sneaker space, the sneaker culture out here is way different. Most of the people listening to the podcast right now, they probably don't know where you're located yeah. so i already know that you're in uh australia right yeah yeah and the time yeah. difference is very crazy because you in australia is like you guys are way far ahead yeah yeah that's right yeah it's okay. uh it's it's uh just uh it's about 5 a.m uh 5 saturday here yeah oh, wow. um it's three it's three like 3 p.m up here yeah. so we're still in friday you guys yeah, are yeah, already yeah, yeah. In saturday it's saturday over here yeah okay, and i was so happy cool. to uh to hop on and just chat about sneakers man so i, I uh, appreciate that I yeah appreciate it's, that. it's a privilege to be to be part of your podcast especially um i know that you're starting it all up i appreciate that so um what will you say comparing have you ever been to united states before have you been out okay cool nice i like that i like yeah. that so since you've experienced the state and you've been in australia let's say most time what 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 are the differences like? What would you say like in from rate from one to ten to rate Australia and to rate United States and the culture like the sneaker culture? Yeah. How is it easy for you to get a shoe in Australia comparing mm. getting in the United States? And yeah, no, that's a good question. I've actually mm -hmm. uh, been fortunate enough to uh, travel not just in the states but also uh, travel around the EU, so I was able to. Uh, kind of grasp the uh, sneaker culture there so if, if i can compare it to america um i guess majority of um the collectors here or or the kids starting up as collecting um we kind of uh take note of what's happening in the u.s so it's very much i guess for us here because we're such a young sneaker culture still um and it's very much defined or was uh defined based on what's going on over in the States, right? So it's very much still a, a huge Nike slash Jordan uh, kind of culture. Um, and majority of the kicks that get that uh, street cred recognition, you know, mm -hmm. the nod are usually your mm -hmm. hype kicks and um, sure. whatnot. So um, there's a few of us. Uh, I'm part of a, a, a smaller collective uh, known as uh, Soul Kitchen AU here in, yes. in Sydney. Um, and most of us collect outside uh, Nike and Jordan. Mm -hmm. Not that we don't like Nike or Jordan, but yeah, our tastes are very, very, very uh, varied. Different. Um, so I guess in terms of sneaker culture, we're not quite there yet um, uh, regarding like what it is in America. Still pretty big on Nike and, and, and Jordans and whatnot. And I feel like we're still pretty young. Um, you know, there's a few people here, or a few collectors who, who love uh, trainers as well. So your, your runners and and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm big running. on those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, running shoes. I mean, um, it, it's all sneakers, so yeah. I mean, Air Jordan is Air Jordan is because it's not because of the shoes, because of the Ed, Michael Jordan. It should yeah. just a shoe until someone yeah. stepping it, you know. Yeah. So, like you said, Australia culture is young, but yeah. at least you guys are able to, you know, have the luxury to experience that culture. Mm. Let's say. Mm. Yeah, in America, I, America pioneered a lot of like, let's say, 
sneaker culture mm. which one is in australia do you guys have anyone that like have ties to sneakers it doesn't have to be like michael jordan even yeah, though yeah, it's yeah. like five percent of no, no, I get you. sneakers you get yeah. what i'm saying that yeah, have no, no, his own get or his own collaboration yeah you know like I all these you. athletes <clears throat> sorry um yeah no um yeah we've got we've got a number of like uh boutique sneaker stores here uh, like up there store uh, highs and lows um above the clouds who have done some amazing collaborations with the likes of asics um reebok um i guess those are the first two brands that kind of pop into my head um in terms of of people that endorse the sneakers we don't necessarily have your celebrities and whatnot i guess that's uh, i guess that's that's huge us culture um already there so uh, for us, it's more the boutique stores. We don't necessarily have um, athletes, okay. artists that or do your big collabs. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't have those that do the big collabs. And also, like in terms of uh, availability here as well, like what's available for us. Like we're sometimes we're fortunate to uh, to be able to get sneakers before the US market. Oh, wow. Um, but majority of um, yeah, majority of our stock is usually coming from the EU. Um, and sometimes shared between uh, New Zealand as well. So mm -hmm. it's very difficult for us to uh, get some so of the yeah. pairs that do release in America. Um, getting online and um, hopping on registering for, for <laughs> any type of raffle I can do. Um, <laughs> um, that uh, those, those raffles or those businesses are willing to send overseas. I'll just enter that, those. Exactly, that is the grand. So quick question, like, Mm -hmm. in uh australia so you can enter raffles elsewhere mm -hmm. yeah oh, yeah that's, yeah that's yeah. Dope. yeah so that's so dope. we're able to enter enter raffles um uh, for various brands but um ever since nike kind of nike slash jordan brought out that uh uh international shipping clause a few oh. years back yeah it's been difficult to get into those pairs um yeah but we've been we've been very lucky uh to get a few a few pairs a little bit earlier than the uh, the American market, um, but again the allocations aren't that much. And even though the sneaker world is kind of a niche market here, um, it's still that you know there's still a lot of people within that one percent of the population, right? So you're still fighting those. And most of the time when we are um, when we're we don't have the sneaker app, but we've got the we've got access to the um, the website. Um, so oh, we're the Nike kind of, website, the, yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. Website. yeah, 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 yeah. So that's good. we kind of compete against the European market, so that's still pretty. That's still pretty tough. Um, and I think that's one of the reason why one of the reasons why I kind of venture out into different brands as well. But I grew up loving Reebok. Um, so um, I was born in the Philippines, came to Australia when I was such a young age, and I was exposed to Reebok first. Um, so Nike and Jordan for me was like status. Um, yeah, like and the it was like, Holy Grail. Yeah, man. Like <laughs> seeing those kids in in school wearing Nikes and Jordans. You know, my first thought is always like, oh yeah, that family must be really rich. Yeah. Um, but so yeah, how do was... you feel now? How do you feel now having multiple? <laughs> oh, I feel like I made it. Hey, like I feel like it's a full circle moment. Um, good, good. But yeah, now I've got adult money, and it's just that's not a good thing because I'm just constantly <laughs> I'm constantly buying, buying things based on nostalgia, true. right? And um, true. Yeah, a lot of the things that I wasn't able to to pick up as a kid, um, I have the ability to do now, um, and I do when I can. Um, and the cool the cool thing is, is like for me at, at my age, um, being at my age, a lot of the things that are retroing in terms of um, runner silhouettes, uh, you know, I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was there. You we were the like, I was out, right? yeah. I can't afford it, but now yeah. they're retroing. Now I can yeah. afford it, so you have no excuses. Yeah, absolutely, so, man. Yeah, so I, I, also I makes it. me makes me really old thinking about that. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm happy for you, man. I'm happy yeah. for you, but it's not like it makes you old. For yeah. it's luxury. A lot of people can't afford that till now, but you're in a position yeah. you can actually go for it and yeah. afford it. So yeah. yeah, I'm happy for that. So my next question is like. What was your favorite silhouette when it comes to shoes? Your favorite yeah. silhouette? Okay. Uh, above all these brand, Reebok, yeah. Fila, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Jordan, Nike, yeah. Adidas. I'm, I'm, what was your I'm a big fan silhouette? of um, like heritage running silhouettes, right? Okay. So I love, 
I love your Air Force ones, and I'm not too sure if you're familiar with the Reebok Ventilator, and that's one of my favorite silhouettes. Um, R6 Gel Light 3s and Gel Light 5s. I love um, Gel Light 3s, yeah. Yeah, Gel Light 3s are amazing. Um, uh, what else? Oh, man, Saucony 600s, 5000s. Oh, sorry, Saucony 5000s, the 600, 6000s. Uh, I like, G9. you see, one thing I like collectors like you because you yeah. don't stick to one brand. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. around when it comes oh, to shoes. There's a like, lot of love. Yeah, there's like I like that right because here. you can take beats and PCs, you know. Yeah. You might feel like, oh, I'm not wearing Nike today. I want to wear yeah. another brand. So that, yeah. that I like that. I like yeah. the, uh, oh, it's, it. It's, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a blessing and a curse, hey, so because I have so many, so many pairs that I struggle to figure out what to wear well, on a, yeah. on true, when true. I want to wear a pair. But um, yeah, I'm big, I'm big on those just um, low cut silhouettes. That's why, you know, I guess for everybody, your Jordan threes are are, are are popular in terms of always in the rotation. Um, but uh, yeah, so running silhouettes and. So uh, you say OG your favorite Jordan rice cigar way, yeah. your your favorite rice cigar way is F Force One. Oh no no MX the MX oh I, I'd say I'd say I'd say my favorite because of the brand mm -hmm. would be um, a Reebok Ventilator if you're not familiar with that Reebok um, Ventilator I'll probably yeah. know it that I don't know I know it yeah, know, yeah 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 the, the yeah. most similar way I'm I'm familiar with with Reebok are questions uh yep. and um what 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 I'm gonna call it Club C. Yep, yep, yep. Classic yeah, leathers. That's, yeah, yeah, that's the two Reebok and uh, the uh, DMX. I think. DMX? Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I know yeah. those. Those yeah. two were highly underrated. Yeah. So yeah, I I know those. So my question now is like, you have a lot of shoes, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know the total pair of <laughs> the shoe in your collection? I know that that's a scary question, but I got to ask. Um, we, yeah, the, the, my, my friends and I, uh, we spoke about that in our pod, the, the number that we have in the collection and, um, in the pod, I was saying, you know, just the first layer behind me mm -hmm. and a couple of the new pairs that I've picked up here, there's already 130 pairs. So wow. I haven't even gone back. So through the um, storage or sneaker room. Yeah. 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 Um, you know what, maybe roughly, roughly around. 200 uh wow. 250 maybe um wow. but it's just yeah it's gone ballistic and uh <laughs> i've always wanted uh, my quote has always been i got to keep 180 pairs and i'll be happy with that but obviously that's a lie yeah, i'm just lying to myself. Above, yeah we sneakers <laughs> we lie a lot we, we be lying to ourselves <laughs> oh man all the time so now for, you you need to have your own shoe brand now with the amount of <laughs> shoes you've been collecting so now like do you have like a sneaker business or you you no you no I'm, I'm pure keep collecting i'm i'm pure collector um wow and i'm like uh in kind of like in the community that that i mean in terms of sneakers a lot of people know that my entire collection is all retail no resell no um, resell yeah. yeah so i kind of i kind of don't dwell too much on pairs so if there's a pair that i miss out on i kind of move on to the next pair yeah 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 um and at the moment um i've just been finding pairs that i missed out on in previous years going because back. people are mm -hmm. yeah the prices are going down and still i won't i, I won't I'll, I'll still bid a bit of a low ball bid i'm that guy is that um, me, too. me too yeah, yeah. me too yeah. i'm guilty i'm guilty of that too <laughs> <laughs> and see who bites um but yeah i try i try not to dwell uh too much on what i've missed out on because i know there's always going to be another pair and i think um that also stems from my love of just sneakers in general and different brands so i know there's always going to be a different pair out there and a lot of people won't necessarily touch them like your Saucony um 6000s are always fantastic pairs great material no one touches those and for the most part when they release you can you can you can wait a few weeks and they'll go down in sale um sure. some sure. of the reebok all that sort of stuff so um yeah very fortunate to have my collection especially being just all retail i mean i've i've bought from wow from you have no res you didn't pay no resale no so i i bought yeah no i've bought from reselling platforms okay but 
under the on the, under be, the re- below yeah. retail or actual yeah, below retail, retail or retail. Yeah. So I haven't wow. been. I haven't. I haven't purchased anything above if there, retail. If, if there's if there's a sneaker if there's a sneaker book of record, mm. your name should be there because that's <laughs> a record right there. You have your own record. You you already set your record. You you didn't yeah. pay no resale price that's yeah. huge it's so tempting it's very yeah. tempting to oh, lose that no. absolutely. yeah it's hard yeah so, absolutely but for me in my situation i kind of always think about because i've got two kids as well i mean there's i've i've you know there, there's been times earlier in my collecting where i've always had like a a bit of a a sour taste for for resellers but i understand as I got older, they what they yeah where they're coming from and how important they are to the game of collecting, because I know a number of people there who are genuine collectors. That's the only mm-hmm. way that they'll get those pairs, right? Sure. So I, you know, it's they're always going to be there no matter what. Um, I can I can I can hate them all I want, but nothing's going to happen nothing's to be honest. Nothing's going to change because the <laughs> yeah, brand want them. Change. The brand need the resellers to survive. Without yeah. resellers, there won't be no eye behind any shoes. Yeah, I think I think so as well. Um, yeah, but my 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 mentality when it comes to purchasing sneakers is based on, um, yeah, just that whether if I can afford it for retail or below, I won't go too far. Like I won't touch it if it's if it's a reselling price, because um, I've also got two of my own kids, and yeah, you know That's this is my hobby, um, and I mean I've got money got to take your family aside for my too. hobby, and that's what I touch, and if that gets low too low. Then obviously I can't continue to to work, uh, I guess, to buy the shoes that I want to buy. So um, I kind of look at it in that sense. And you know, for some people, they see that as a smart move. And I guess so. But uh, it takes discipline. Yeah. That's a good discipline. That's good because yeah. I mean, you buying shoe at the at the same time, you are taking care of your priorities. Yeah, that's, that that's a good yeah. thing. I, I wish everybody it. can do that. Yeah, but, I got it. You know, yeah. So my quick my 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 other question is. Um, if, if a random shoe brand just come to you and be like, for instance, now in America, we have a lot of them, a lot of influencers, a lot of artists. We have Kanye, we have Jay-Z, we have, I can keep mentioning. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're also aware of. So in Australia, who do you think is that front man that you think can take Australia sneaker culture to another level? If a brand want to use you, to yeah. tell a story with that person who you're gonna yeah. go for because i think i'll be honest yeah. the only person i know as like as an icon in australia I, I, it might be a little bit biased because i'm nigerian but that's the only person i know is adesanya israel adesanya with the ufc that's mm-hmm. the only person i know that okay this is the person holding australia down mm-hmm. when it comes to like dominating mm-hmm. the world i might yeah. there might be more people out there that i'm not yeah. aware of so yeah you, you can let me know yeah so no, that, see, that's good. yeah no, that's a good question because uh for, for me anyways it's very hard for me to answer that because like i i grew up i grew up in the philippines right so mm-hmm. um, a lot of our culture is very much influenced by american culture so there's not a lot of i don't i don't see a lot of people here or celebrities and athletes and whatnot that would be able to um, take on a sneaker brand and, and put it up there in terms of collecting because Nike and Jordan is such a huge yeah. part of um, popular culture here in Australia. But I feel like there are a number of boutique stores, like actual brands that would be able to to do that. So, you know, the likes of um, Up Their Store in Melbourne, who have done a number of collaborations with, um, with uh, ASICS, um, and Saucony, and then you've also got Sneaker Freaker down in Melbourne as well, um, where they started from, and they're doing amazing collaborations with the Adora, um, with um, ASICS, so on and so forth. So, um, so yeah. sorry to cut you off. So it's more like brand. It's more like a, 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 a brand working with a shoe company, not like yeah. an artist working yeah. with a shoe company. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And so those, so those brands, more. I think, will um, take it up, take it another level. Um, mm-hmm. and you know, with the collaborations that they do with the different brands, it's not so, I guess, not so popular with our young culture here. Um, it's awesome for us, uh, old heads, just because, <laughs> you know, we, we have an opportunity to grab those pairs and know the value of them in terms of, um, you know, who's the behind, nostalgia behind it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Who's behind the idea and whatnot. So 
um, I think those brands will do a, a will go a long way uh, into defining uh, our market, our sneaker. I guess our sneaker culture. Um, but again, it's just hard to it's just hard to break that Nike Jordan. Um, uh, I guess barrier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's it's. Re I I see it. I I see it at my work as a as a school teacher. When I wear when I wear Nikes and Jordans, man, the kids they they the get hyped up. They go crazy, right? When I put on a pair of Asics, Puma, Reebok, Saucony, they're just like, oh, they're nice shoes, sir. That's all I get, mm. right? I'm like, mm, well, oh, I get I, I I almost get offended. I'm like, they're just not nice. nice. You don't yeah. necessarily something know that means a lot to you. Yeah. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, I get it, yeah. I get it, yeah. and you can't just sit them down and be like, yeah, this white issue is cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Nike, even the material might be awful. Like it might not oh, have a story behind it. But if they see that swoosh mark, yeah, that Nike mark, yeah, they be like, oh yeah, yeah. I like this. You're yeah, right. I'm actually, right. I'm yeah. actually, I'm actually liking what I'm seeing at the moment at school because there's been a transition from a lot of kids who are wearing uh, dunks, uh, dunk lows, mm -hmm. um, are now wearing like New Balance 550s. Um, I'm seeing the club C's out. Like I'm loving it. Hey, like uh, trying yeah, new it, things. Yeah, it's it's so good. Yeah. So as it as a teacher, I know you probably you probably tired of seeing the Nike Panda Panda Dunks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like I'm not even gonna lie. I've got a pair myself. I, I picked Me up too. a pair. When I, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I got the eyes. Pair. I got the lows. I like mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. it, it, up a it pair. literally I, goes I, with anything. Exactly. Exactly, the colorway is fantastic, and I was um, fortunate to pick up a pair when they initially dropped in 2021, right? Um, and I remember putting them on at school, and the kids were kind of like, "Whoa, they're nice shoes, sir! Like black and white." Yeah, we'll go with that. And all of a sudden, I'm starting to see it flood. I love, I love seeing that. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that for me. Yeah. I know some people kind of get like, um, yeah, kind of get a, a little bit frustrated with that because it's kind of like flooding the market. But I love seeing that because you know. You get to see that that could be the starting point of the sneaker journey for that kid. Do you know exactly, what I mean? Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's just like Air Force One. Like yeah. a lot of people weren't yeah. mad about Air Force One too when yeah. there was Air Force One literally <laughs> everywhere. It was all yeah. white Air Force One. Nobody yeah. was saying anything. Now Nike try. I think a lot of people like a lot of people are scared because they're thinking the dunks, the the dependent dunks, is trying to overshadow the Air Force Ones. Yeah, 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 Why? yeah. So I think that's what's going yeah. on. I, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, but I also I also have this theory where this the the hate coming from people are the are the same people buying those kicks. So like I think everybody's just finding a reason to to hate on something. Um, but yeah, man, like walking around the the um, the stores, the malls, and stuff, and seeing the kids wearing like. Air Force Ones and Dunk Lows, Pandas and all that sort of stuff. I kind of look, I was like, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool, yeah. I guess they have an understanding, a little bit of an understanding of, of sneaker culture because it's now it's mainstream, right? It's not niche. Exactly. Anymore. Exactly. Um, yeah. But the, like I say to a number of my students, it's like you, you just never know. That could be the start of their journey. That could be their first pair that they've ever bought, a pair that they've always wanted and all of a sudden they've attained it. That's awesome. That's true. That's true. Uh, backtracking back, like, Sneaker sneaker head is is used for someone that just like they don't know what to do. They just kept buying sneakers. It was like mm. a world for people that don't know what they're doing. Mm. They mm. oh they were like you you don't have a house, you don't have a car, or mm. you buy sneakers. That's why mm. they use the term sneaker heads. Yeah. But now everybody want to be that sneaker. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, no, right? That. Yeah. It's crazy, right? So, so sometimes Australia, I kind of like I kind of shy away from the term sneakerhead and call myself an enthusiast just because i feel like when you uh when you say sneakerhead it's very synonymous with nike jordan collectors right so um like so for me as a sneaker enthusiast because i'm so in love with a number of brands and a number of silhouettes and whatnot i kind of just stick to that kind of label in a sense yeah um, me too me too yeah i use the term soul lover yeah there you go I, I, nice one. yeah that's why i use soul lover because yeah you can't call me a sneakerhead. I, I'm not even a collector to begin with because yeah. I can have a shoe now and yeah. someone complimented me and be like, yeah. oh, do you like it? And we wear the same side. I can give it out. That was yeah. what I wrote, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can have a, 
a, another shoe in my collection, I give out shoe easily. So I can't even yeah. build up my collection to begin yeah. with. You know, yeah, I'm, so, I'm the same. Like any pairs, any pairs that I don't wear anymore, they go straight in the car, sure. and I'll drive all the way to my cousin's place and give it to his kids, or I donate it to um, the local Saint Vincent de Paul. Whatever exactly. it is, man. Like exactly. I'm not making like money mine. from my collection. This is True. this is all love behind me. Like this it's is a love. Yeah. Me, yeah, me too. Like when, if my any of my shoes like losing shape or I just mm. don't really wear them like that, I mm -hmm. ship. I ship. Sometimes I sell it. Sometimes mm -hmm. I sell it. Sometimes I ship it back home. So mm -hmm. that's what I be doing. So yeah, I'm not, I, I don't consider myself as a sneakerhead, but. People, the, people outside the culture don't know. They just see everybody as a sneaker, which I oh, can't yeah. fault them for it because yeah, that's yeah, yeah, the absolutely. term that's been used for everybody. Like yeah. sneaker, sneaker. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, yeah. So, what's your recent cup, and what shoe are you looking forward to cup? Like, oh my, on your okay, my, I I was able to pick up a couple of pairs. So my recent cop would be, I'm not too sure if this is released already in the US, but. Um, we just have the raffles for the uncs oh yeah he's released yeah, yeah the uncs yeah that, cool. that's pretty i saw it flooding on the internet everybody yeah. going crazy for it like that's yeah. a clean shoe yeah like my my mentality was um cop the pair and kind of think about whether i was going to keep it or not and when they so did come think? in when they came in man i'm just like yeah i think they're staying in the collection I can't let it go <laughs> yeah, man that blue that blue is too much i love UNC it hey. blue, um, yeah and the materials yeah. aren't too bad as well. Um, yeah. And I was able to, um, not too sure if you guys are familiar with the um, the ASICS 2160s that released, um, the oh, Dime. I'm pair. not familiar with the Dime, but yeah. I don't, the Dime is a skate shop, right? Yeah, 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 is yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so that's a, uh, a Y2K runner. So it's mm -hmm. supposed to be a, a tech running silhouette, but the colors just really mute down. So it's it looks, yeah, it, it looks more of a lifestyle shoe than anything else. So it, I was able looks, to pick that up. It looks luxury. Yeah, man. Um, I was surprised by the actual hype. So I was I was I was I was online um, during the drop and trying to pick up what I could pick up, and everything was just selling real quick. I was like, "What wow. is going on? People never used to touch this These stuff." These Essex. Why are people yeah. going for Essex? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> So I was very fortunate to pick that up on a, um, a shock drop from um, one of the stores. Actually, no, sorry. I should say uh, one that off an online raffle um, from highs and lows, um, uh, a store here in Australia. So, yeah, really happy with that. But, yeah, I was just surprised by how many, how quickly it sold. Um, so those those would be my my two pairs. I was, um, I was wanting to wear one of those today, but it's raining outside. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... Gum boots on, I think. So, yeah, or uh, Timberlands. Or... <laughs> Do you own any Timberlands? I've got some Timberlands, man. Okay, yeah. okay. You can yeah, use I've that got some Timberlands and whatnot, so they might make an appearance. But I do have some. Um, I call them gum boots. It's just the um, the pattern bred AJ ones. Oh, so AJ I call ones. them my gum boots. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad. That is 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 hot out here. Like it's yeah. like ninety degree or eighty five degrees out here. Yeah, wow. It's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's hot out here. So you say you do travel around the world, right? Have you been to any sneaker convention or events? Yeah, no. See, so when I was when I was um when I was traveling uh, Europe and America um, during my younger days, um, I wasn't into sneakers as much, but I did love them. I didn't start my collection, so my my mindset during that time was just to admire what I see on foot, what I see in stores um so i never i never looked around for any conventions um when i was overseas i did go into like different sneaker stores and all of that sort of stuff like flight club in new york just and... window shop check around yeah see man just to see where it's at yeah, yeah. kind of touch it and go yeah one mm -hmm. day i'll have you um Not kind of thing but <laughs> but yeah it's uh I've, I've i've never been to any any big uh conventions uh over especially over in the states um, we're starting to have some here. Uh, there's a group here called, um, so shout out to uh, the Kickstand, uh, which is the largest uh, sneaker community group on uh, Facebook. And um, uh, Jay and the crew, um, they put on some events uh, in okay. different states at least uh, once or twice a year. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, just, it's just 
an awesome place to to hang out with mates and just uh chat sneakers you know you'll still see your resale tables that sell exactly the same shoe same shoe um, mm -hmm. yeah on the tables and stuff but it's just turned into um that community aspect now for us uh for me especially like i i turn up find a pair of kicks that i know no one is ever gonna know it's where they're from or whatever yeah. um and i just sometimes i just sit there and just chat with people um it's, not, not, it's not about just copying the sneakers yeah. it's sharing history having yeah. a conversation like yeah, this it, man. you know yeah stuff and all that yeah so um there's a couple of uh I would like say conventional yeah there's gasso there's sneaker mm -hmm. con and all that in australia you 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 mentioned that different states right mm -hmm. i used to think australia is a whole continent on its own <laughs> i yeah, used yeah, to yeah. think that am i right <laughs> oh it's it's a huge continent but we're split up into seven states and terror like seven states two territories or am i wrong six states two territories but yeah yeah. Oh wow. So oh, wow. so the T the the uh, the kickstand group will will fly out and just uh, book out an event space and um, just invite sneaker enthusiasts out to sell shoes, hang out, chill out, do competitions, raffles. Um, that, yeah. There's one. Yeah. There's one in Sydney coming up soon. So um, a group of us um, will get a table and uh, we'll call it the, I guess we'll call it the retail table. <laughs> I'm gonna just try and sell. I'm just gonna try and sell what. I, like, I mean, that would be useful. I, I wish, I wish, I wish resellers out here can have a retail table. It will make yeah. life easy for everybody. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm actually, I'm actually worried that like, if I'm selling my sneakers for what I got them for, like retail or just below, I feel like a lot of people probably won't buy them because they'll be too scared that they might be fakes. Um, so and I just, we'll not just go. that, and they're gonna be scared that oh. It doesn't have any value because you yeah. need to know a lot of people that are getting into the sneaker culture now are not there for the sneakers. Oh, absolutely, man. They're there, it's about like, how much the shoe costs, right? Yeah, yeah. It's about the price, the nostalgia, mm -hmm. the hype. They mm -hmm. don't care about material. They don't yeah. care about history. They yeah, just man. want the money value so they yeah. can resell it. So, yeah, I see. I see that. I, I see that my work. Um, like when I pop on my fragment J1 lows, right? Like the kids get hyped. And like, sir, you're wearing exactly. like, yo, you're, you're wearing like, your, your shoes are so expensive. And like, no, because they saw it on the internet everywhere with the price yeah. tag, and yeah. they, they, did, they didn't know that you, you just a sneaker that love yeah. wearing your shoes. Even yeah. a regular person that is not into shoe won't be yeah. able to wear yeah, it yeah, because absolutely. they'll be like, I yeah. don't want to invest turkey. It's gonna yeah. affect the price, but you yeah. don't care. You wear your shoe, yeah. and that's so that was that was that was actually one of my big wins, hey, because that's from an online raffle that I won, so for Ooh. retail. So when I wear it and the kids look at me and they're like, yeah, sir's rich. I'm like, oh, no, sir, he's not rich. <laughs> <laughs> so does it make you pump? Like, yeah, once yeah. they give you the compliment, oh, like, oh, I love it. I'm yeah. getting the next Travis Scott so I can get yeah. him more. You know? <laughs> that, yeah, that's how they get us. Yeah, yeah. That's get I us. need that street cred from my students. Yeah, that's what, that's what get us. Your favorite edge of the one, your favorite edge of the two, if you have anyone, but yeah. I'll just go straight to the point. What's the favorite shoe in your connection in your collection right now? Yeah, all right, I, I can totally answer that. In my collection, cool. I have a pair. Cool. Um, it's very hard to get because it's at the back, but I have a you pair. You don't need of, to show uh... it. You can just you can just <laughs> let me know. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> um, I know it's a struggle. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be a struggle, um, but I'll describe it anyways, and then um, yeah, I'll describe it while I'm thinking about the most strategic right. way of pulling it out. Um, all right. Yeah, it's just it's just a pretty much an all white air force one um i've beat it at, um i beat it to death hey but the reason why i like it it's i got it i got it custom by a mate in uh in melbourne so i'm in sydney he's in another okay. state he's in victoria so he's in melbourne sydney, um, and sydney I got is him the capital to, right oh well, sydney yeah sydney is the, okay. sydney cool. is the, the capital i guess um i got him to write my kids names on each on each shoe so one will have my son's name, the other side will have my daughter's name. And every time I put that pair on, like it's um it's a like people come up to me and ask me like what's what's the meaning of that and all that sort of stuff. So it starts that story and uh it helps me connect with more people and that's why I love it. Right. The value obviously monetary value isn't there. Right. The no pair cost me six well, the pair cost me a hundred and fifty bucks or hundred and fifty dollars wow. Australian. Wow. Um, um my mate 
was like very, very generous and very, very kind to give me a very, very good discount on him just customizing it. It wasn't, it's nothing crazy. Um, now that I'm talking about it, I'm going to pull it out. Hey, yeah, I, I would like to yeah. see it. <laughs> yeah, give me, <laughs> give me a couple of minutes. Give me a couple of yeah, minutes. Take your time. Take your yeah. time. I would love Just to admire see all it. the boxes behind me and try to figure out what <laughs> yeah. they are while I go get them. All right. Back. Yeah, welcome back. So, like, <laughs> I've had this for ooh, three, four, maybe five years. Yeah, I think. No. Oh, wow. Yeah, five years. No, four years. So, it's just uh, one side has oh, wow. my daughter's name um just a simple custom as you see it's aging that's uh natural i, lo I, like. I love when the shoe is like that because yeah, yeah, yeah i like it's it aging um i've tried to keep it as clean as i possibly can but i love wearing these and then the other side is just my son's name your son oh wow yeah yeah really really subtle um but every time i wear that there's always somebody that will come up to me and ask me where i got it from um, where they can buy it and all that sort of stuff but yeah that's that's, that's pretty much why i use my sneakers as well is just to connect with people just like true, the reason true. why i'd wear a pair of sneakers at school um so it's another vehicle for me to connect with the kids um especially working in uh the well-being space um and looking out for kids well-being and their mental health and whatnot so i kind of put pairs on uh chill with those kids um it's a teaching moment, so they ask me questions regarding my uh, my collection and all of that sort of stuff. So yeah, um, nothing crazy, nothing hyped. It's my favorite pair. It's just that it's is, it's linked to my kids, so that's the reason it can why. Be, it can be hyped than that. Like that's a very yeah. good pair right there. Like, yeah. Right now, I'm even thinking about having my own custom for <laughs> sure. Because yeah, yeah no, man, do really it. Yeah. yeah, I can. I can. While, I can while the Air Force ones are still available, because um, yeah, 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 yeah. I can, I can um, relate to that. I can relate yeah. to that. So, um, I really appreciate you coming up on the podcast with me. You, 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 you talk about you have your own podcast, right? Which is uh, Soul yeah. Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so when you, when you when you introduce yourself, you didn't say where people can follow you and all that. Yeah. So I'll I'll let you you know let the Russo family. Know where they can follow you yeah if you have any you know youtube page yeah and no, i'm still kind of i'm still kind of getting used to that when i'm when i'm hopping on to pods and doing some interviews that like they mm -hmm. they say the same thing as you do it's like oh come on you got to shout out your yeah your you brand have to, you and have all to that because we stuff. connected now because yeah even though i'm trying to go for a shoe now like yeah i think i think i'm how would i say i'm confident enough to actually like oh bro there's a shoe released in Australia. Can you help me go for it? And you can ask yeah. me the same, like, oh, bro, there's a shoe in US. Can you help me go for my yeah. size? Oh, Which man. You know not, what? You like, know... I, I'm, I'm all about the assists. And if I can mm -hmm. uh, if I can help in any way, uh, I most definitely do my best to help where I can. Um, same here. But, yeah, like, people can, can, can hit me up on, um, on Instagram. I go by Kicking It With G. Um, uh, and I'm part of a small group of of guys that talk about sneakers and um we just talk shop every time every friday when we can um it's called soul kitchen au uh, we've got a podcast as well um yeah so thank you for the three listeners that listen to our podcast we love you um but <laughs> we, <laughs> i mean we yeah, all yeah, start just... from somewhere yeah we all <laughs> nah, start it's just from a group. somewhere yeah. there's not there's nothing else to it except having a, a platform for us to just chat about sneakers so we're really appreciative of the people that log in and and comment interact with us um and the boys themselves have their own instagram um accounts uh respectively so Sh and, shout out uh, to them yeah. yeah shout out to all of them man like they 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 do so many things old man sneaks kicks and craze sc kicks five oh soul collator 84 um gr king oh, a whole heap of stuff yeah, oh and yeah. dazwa those guys um once um yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tag them um, in uh, the post. If this gets posted on your Instagram, I'll tag them on there. Definitely, and uh, definitely. Yeah, so hopefully some people continue to follow them. They do amazing work. Uh, okay. the, the, uh, the creativity that they have with photography and videography and all of that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, hard to, it, it's hard to compare to what they do. Okay. And they do amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. work. So, yeah that's good that's that's good i mean yeah. that's a whole team like that's the vision too like i want to have yeah. my own team too because yeah i do everything by myself 
yeah, 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 yeah. Everything by yeah. myself, set up the podcast, the YouTube, yeah. and everything. So I well, we kind of, I we kind it. of, we kind of, the way it started, it was just, it just kind of happened because you know we were we were featuring on, on the same podcasts and all that sorts of stuff, and uh, you know one day we just started having a, a group chat. It was like, hey, maybe we can do this. Like we can, why don't we just do this? So we just did it. Um, still learning on the go. Um, trying to be as consistent as possible, but it's fun. It's a, uh, it's, it's a way to de-stress. Um, that's why no matter how early it is, as I was telling you in our chat, like, oh, I'm happy to hop on. I'm happy to talk about kicks. I'm happy to connect, uh, with people, uh, from exactly. all walks of life all over the place. Okay. Yeah. I, I used to think this applies to just me, but, but because one, once I'm doing stuff like this, if is I'm posting on Instagram or I'm open to so, you know on the podcast with someone or I'm just mm-hmm. up, uh, uploading a video on YouTube it's like even though if I have a stressful day it just relieves me in a way yeah know? it's good hey yeah it's like I'd work to some people but it's like it just yeah. relieve me like reduce the stress and yeah me, like be grateful and all that so it's yeah. just the grind for me and I, I yeah me talking to you right now you don't know how much it means to me but it ma- it means a lot which I appreciate, you know. Yeah, no, you know, I, I appreciate you, know, you asking me, and I and I'm I'm not just saying this, but every time I talk about my um my hobbies with somebody, whether it's kicks, whether it's cooking, and all that sorts of stuff, I get so hyped, like I'm just buzzing for the next few days, yeah. um, just because I'm able to connect with like-minded people. So that's that's what it is for me. Yeah, no, so so this is the part. I'm I'm definitely sure this is like our part one of the podcast because I'm just getting to know you. There's gonna be a part two as the podcast. Oh goes. man, I'd, I'd so, love to be back. On. <laughs> definitely, I'll have you back, yeah. and there's gonna be part two. And I mean, I've known I've I've known more about you than a regular test, which I appreciate, and not yeah. just me. Like whoever is listening to this podcast or watching this podcast. Yeah. Also know, you know, a little bit about you. So yeah. I appreciate that. I appreciate you taking your time. You, yeah. like you said, it's like 5 a.m., probably 6 a.m. by now yeah. in Australia. So yeah. the time difference is crazy. And yeah, yeah, yeah. To get this done. So I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that. So what's going to be your next cup? What show are you looking out for right now? There's a lot of releases. There's a, oh, there's so thing, many. Before we, go, before we go, do you have any dunk? SB in your collection? Yeah, I've got some SBs. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I've got some SBs. I've actually got. Um, I've recently just uh, passed on a pair to somebody that was chasing the uh, the eBay dunks uh, that mm-hmm. came out last uh, last year. So I was able to. Yeah, yeah. I was able to connect him with his Grail, which was awesome. So I got That's him. Good. Yeah, just uh, sold it for retail to him. But I've got some SBs. Um, again. They're all behind here. Yeah, um, you, you don't need yeah. to take your time. Probably yeah, yeah. the part two, we're going to have enough time. You can go through your sneakers <laughs> and all that. Yeah. But now I don't even want you to stress over it. Cause if, I, if, if, I, if I have enough time to prepare it, I'll pull out all the shoes and whatnot. Um, Definitely. But so yeah, it's, you, it's... Go have on. Have you ever been to any like Vassos, like any sneaker battle or stuff like that? Or is yeah, not no, I... Oh man, to be honest, like I I don't really understand those uh those those things. I've seen I've seen a couple and I still sit down as like I don't really understand this. I get that people are kind of just uh you know flexing what they have, which is awesome, but I'm kind mm-hmm. of like I don't know, I feel like I don't have enough to be able to do what they do. Um, nah, it's not like you you don't have enough. It's because you don't collect for I would like say you don't collect for people, you collect for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you don't call it for yeah. like this soci- social status. Yeah. The There's been a number battle... of people asking me to get into it. So I'm just yeah, like, Yeah, the sneaker right. battle is dope though because yeah. it, it motivates you yeah. to have more so knowledge yeah. and to be able to be like, oh, so this is why this shoe exists because yeah, most yeah. sneaker battles, they just don't bring out the shoe. They bring out the shoe. They talk oh, about the, sh- the history. The story, right? Yeah. Yeah, the story. So they that. compare the story. They compare the prices. Yeah. So that's why I, I love it. That. I haven't been to one. I don't see myself, like I said, I don't see myself as a sneakerhead. I'm a soul yeah. lover. So I don't see myself going to like a sneaker battle because yeah. I don't think I can go. But oh, yeah, I've yeah. hosted one in the past. Yeah, no, I'm so, the same. I kind of I kind of admire from the from a distance. I let mm-hmm. people do what they do. 
I'm happy to sit in my little space and have exactly. people admire same me if yet. they want to. Same here. Same um, here. I, yeah. I, I have a lot of big collectors that follow me, that I follow. Like, mm. the, 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 they'll be posting some gross, some shoes. And mm -hmm. I just be admiring it, you know, showing them love, reposting it. That's what yeah, it's man. about. You know, yeah. if someone can gift me a pair, definitely I'm going to accept it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm going to accept it. But, yeah, that's, that's about that. Yeah, I, I appreciate you hopping on. Let me let you enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, man. Like, hey, have a, have an awesome weekend. Hey, like, um, because I know it's Friday afternoon there, so uh, exactly. your weekend's just starting. We're kind of mm -hmm. Saturday morning. Um, I'll be getting ready in a couple of hours to uh, take the kids to their activities. But yeah, no, thank you for uh putting out the invitation there, oh, and thank, uh, thank you for you. taking the thank time. Thank you. To... We're connected now, so yeah, you know as things goes we're going to be sharing more soul knowledge and yeah just it'll be cool sharing knowledge in general i yeah. appreciate you for hopping on thank you so much and yeah man we out <laughs> yeah bro stay blessed I, do, I don't know how to do an outro but <laughs> no nah, you're good bro that's that's all you gotta do stay blessed next time <laughs>